Hello, and welcome back for part 12 of my Creeping Death Let's Play campaign. So in the last part, we fought off this weird assault from this army of the uh, mutinous gits, and have to decide whether to cancel this recruitment to go wipe them out. I think the answer is yes, because in Kreza Crack, we're getting an extra 8 units added to the garrison when this finishes. And, like, having the extra units um, already half done in recruitment only helps us from the turn after next. Like, it doesn't help us over the next end turn, basically. And by that point, we'll have eight new units in the garrison, which is a bigger deal than these three. So the dwarves will attack us next turn or not, basically irrespective of what these units are doing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel them and make this attack. Just get the army uh, wiped out. Get to max out Ravager. That's good. Okay, fight this manually. I mean, they didn't have very much at all. Clearly, our frontline units are quite low on entities, and our lord's a bit wounded. But I'm sure our archers can carry us here. Too bad that their pump wagon and big boss are a little too healthy for me to just snipe with magic. But yeah, we should be fine. Maybe... okay. I think I want to go for a bit of a... concave formation. Otherwise, we'll have the issue that not all of our guys can shoot. Alright, that looks fine. Guess we can pull back slightly. And he has... yeah, that's not useful, sadly. The scepter. Well... Who do I want to go for with the magic? I think I'll just go for the goblins. It's going to do more damage. Our armor-piercing missiles can take out the big boss and the um, pump wagon. Yeah, that was a reasonable amount of damage. Actually, looking at it, I think I'm just going to have my infantry run all the way back and not use them at all. Just to prevent any chance of them getting wiped out. I can obviously take some damage on any of these units. Not too much problem. Oh, that was bad. Actually got quite a few kills off the last hit, but yeah, terrain sort of got in the way. Yeah, 1200 health on the um, and the pump wagon. We're just not going to do anywhere near that, really, with the uh, with this with the vindictive glare. Okay, I don't think we need more than a couple of volleys to route that unit. In fact, I think we should just go for the big boss right away, and then. Yeah, he's going down pretty quick. You need to change target to that. And in fact, yeah, everyone else should probably change target to that as well. Oh, wait. Well, the pump wagon just exploded too. Alright. Well, completely annihilated. Good stuff. There's one goblin running away. I guess we can... There's no real need to run him down since he's getting wiped out anyway. Yeah, it seemed like the uh, the pump wagon just kind of exploded even without losing all its health. Not quite sure what happened there.
Yeah, don't get much loot, that's fine. 3% replenishment, I don't think we really need. 220 treasury, it doesn't feel like we really need either. I'm gonna go for the leadership boost. Definitely think it's possible that we'll be fighting against the dwarves in the next few turns. Alright, I'll move. Nasty magic ready. Okay. So getting close to lightning strike on this lord, which is great. I think um I think I'll go for the looter boost. I I'm not convinced that this evasion while using the underway is really worth putting points in. It's what I did with other lords, but let's just go for the extra looting money. Um, I'll come back to this army with recruitment. So, our other... Yeah, our two settlements are just sitting tight. The enemy have had a number of turns to build siege equipment and haven't launched the assault, so it's increasingly looking like maybe they're trying to just starve us out, which is actually fine, because it, give, it gives Musk enough time to come break these sieges. So I want Musk to head over to Akendorf. Unfortunately, we can only really do that by going via Vranka Hills. So I think the first step is to attack and sack Vranka Hills. And then either we occupy it afterwards, because we don't have enough movement to do anything more useful, or we can get partway over here in preparation for relieving the siege. So let's go ahead and launch this assault. Alright, weak garrison, but I want to fight this manually. Um, should have done this a few battles ago, but switch over the banner of swiftness for Musk. Eventually I'll capture Vrenka Hills and actually try and hold it, but we're not at that point yet. I think the time to do that is when I have Barak Bar at tier 3 and I've got enough population surplus to get Frank Hill straight, straight to tier 3 and get walls built as fast as possible there. And yeah, we're not quite at that stage of the campaign yet. So if I occupy this, it's with an understanding that, uh, yeah, it's not going to last, basically. Alright, I've got a war army coming in as reinforcements. I think I want to just basically use the war units as fodder and take zero damage or minimal damage on my actual army. So let's keep the cavalry out of the action. Let's keep the big boss out of the action. Let's have the nasty skulkers just start out this way. If they don't end up contributing anything, I think that's fine. So I've got a whole bunch of units now in my War Army, which is getting close to full strength in terms of the number of units. Obviously, they're a bit depleted from previous battles. Let's maybe grab these four healthy units and stick them as a front line. That looks good. Then three units of uh, Wolf Rider archers. That's actually pretty nice in these pitch battles, I think. And it looks like that's all we're getting, which is fine. Yeah, so lots of uh, lower health of a melee gobos, which I don't think I really need. Alright. So they do have missile units that I want to avoid, and I think I will cast some spells at them. But no reason not to uh, use my missile cav to harass them. They're getting some shots away at us, but not very much. I don't think there's any issue there at all. Alright, Musk is getting shot. Um, that's okay. I guess he doesn't have the most health either. 
Should have waited for this maneuver until the rest of my uh, main infantry missile line was in range, but it's worked out fine. It's just given up. I think, I think they're all honestly pretty close to just giving up. Got them completely enveloped here. Nice. All right, let's hold fire and get some regeneration on Musk from just running down these shattered units. Might as well. This doesn't honestly achieve much, but run down the other units. I think because it's a garrison. Let's see here. No, I am still getting experience. I don't know. I feel like I've said this multiple times, but I don't really understand why it is that sometimes you get extra experience for running down units after the battle that are going to get wiped out anyway, such as these garrison units, and sometimes you don't seem to. But since we are getting it here, let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Yeah, Musk just needs to stay in combat for the regeneration to proc. And I'm sure he's going to end the battle with more HP than he came in at, which is very nice. Yeah, like I got to experience everyone on this. These, uh, yeah. Wolf, wolf Riders. We'll see if we can get a little extra replenishment as well from uh, sacking. Yeah, Musk has gained like 300 health from the regeneration. Yep, and I'm going to sack it to make sure we have extra movement here. Continuing to make a nice amount of money despite having multiple lords and not having, honestly, that much base income, which is awesome. And maxed out superior attacker, really good as well. Well, it's a decent regiment of renown, although sadly I'm not allowing it in this campaign. But we're closing in on the Arachnorok Spider Queen. I think she's at rank 30, but not too far to go. Ooh, look at this. So, now that the Zona Control is removed from Varenka Hills because we took out the garrison, we can actually for force march here and sally out against this army if I want to. Hmm. Never! Just looking at this other Border Prince army down here. Now they'll see. Another thing I can do here... Sigma forbids this. Well, I was going to say I can try and wound one of the heroes in this army. However, they've got another hero right here who could just join the army if, if I took one of them out. So what is the plan? Not likely. Also have this revolt army here that we need to deal with. I was hoping they'd fight the, the border princes, but they haven't. Okay, so let's just check exactly what's in this army. We're not going to fight this without bringing Musk in, of course. 
Yeah, it's a load of spearmen, and then crossbows and a couple of huntsmen. And they've got a captain on a horse, and then these other two guys. Yeah, it's definitely very manageable. I mean, we'll have... I wonder how the... Um... I wonder how the reinforcements will work here. We actually have five... We technically have five armies. Alright, I think I should make the attack. Grab this level up point first. Yeah, so that. Yeah, AoE leadership so that incentivizes me to keep most close to the other melee troops. Makes sense. Just, I'm still sort of weighing things up a little bit here. I think. Um, Absolutely not. I mean, this would be an easy decision if I didn't have to put Musk into Force March, but I think I... Well, what am I concerned about here? So if, if I move Musk up there on Force March, and then sally out, and this army withdraws, which I think is quite likely, then I, I'm not really able to follow up and kill them. Then there's this stack they could bring up to... Like, they could potentially throw two full stacks against Musk. I guess that's the concern here. Because what they could do is re-besiege Akendorf and then launch an attack with this army, this stack. And then I wouldn't get the reinforcements from Akendorf. And Musk would be there on Force March. I think I'm going to go for it. Better to be proactive, I think. And let's just hold on there, actually, because I do think I might be better at making an assassinate attempt. Yeah, like 69%. We'll go for the guy on the horse. The captain's also a better fighter than the warrior priest. It's 69 versus 70%, so not much difference. Only 1% chance of the hero being wounded. I think essentially trading a hero for a hero out, is good for me. Assassinate succeeded. Nice. Yeah, because this hero is not super useful in the actual battle being low health. That's a good ability as well. So yeah, it comes down here. And they did withdraw. Okay. I guess I shouldn't really be so surprised by that. By Sigma, no. Oh. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I was... Maybe I should have blocked the army. Somehow I didn't think of that because I knew that if I... If they withdrew, they'd be moving and somehow I didn't... Yeah, the fact that... Like, the block army would still work against the movement on the next turn. I will not obey. All right, well... It's still fine. We kind of have to deal with this revolt army. The siege is broken. Like, that's that's the big deal here. Um, th this revolt army may get stronger over the end turn. We're not, we can't do anything about this army right now. Let's make this attack. They don't withdraw because they're rebels. So which armies are actually coming in here? All oh, right, it looks like we got the strongest four, because this guy has a war army of just five units. But that was the fifth, like that was the odd man out in this case, right? Because we've got the other, yeah, we've got everything else coming in. Looking at this, actually, I think I should auto resolve this battle because that should wipe the, their army out completely. There's pros and cons because. If I weaken them, it, well, hold on. But, yeah, maybe I want to fight two battles. If I weaken them enough in the first battle that the general plus his war army can finish them off, then that's sort of an extra free battle.
Might also have quite a few of the low health melee units wiped out if I order resolve. Oh, I think it's fine. What? It wasn't fine. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Whenever something bad happens with water resolve, it's like serves me right for auto resolving. I was looking at all of this fodder all these fodder units of melee troops who like preferentially take damage and auto resolve, and it's my unit of cavalry that the game decides would be lost against this army, which has no fast moving units, no way to catch them. Ah, uh, sigh. Okay. Well, that's a little frustrating. We also we also did take damage on our melee units too. Though no significant losses apart from that cavalry unit. Well, yeah, like I say, this is why you know, this is why you shouldn't auto resolve. That replenishment <clears throat> Yeah, that replenishment is actually just on this Lord's army, so it doesn't do anything, so I guess we're just taking the gold here. Alright, but that does clean that up at least. Scroll of Leeching. I want to say... I want to say I already had one of those, even. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. I had the Trickster's Shard. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of, like, anti-spellcaster items that just aren't that useful right now, but that's okay. Okay, you get a rank up. Definitely want to point in Root Marcher. Uh, okay, well, yeah, apart from losing that cav unit that I wouldn't have lost, which, which isn't the end of the world, I've still got the missile cavalry, which is so much more useful, I think. Now I'm considering... I mean, one thing I could do is actually come and occupy Varenka Hills with this guy. And have Muz sit in Akendorf. Kind of liking the sound of that. I mean, the thing with occupying Varenka Hills is it gives me, it lets me move troops way more easily along this road from Krasakrak to Akendorf. And even if I can't hold it, like I was saying, I still think it's worth doing. So yeah, we'll just occupy. Picked up a squig mascot. Picked up a level up too. Didn't realize you got a level up for occupying undefended settlements. Um, I think this lord is is probably ah oh, he actually has the best trait. That's really funny because just from a strategic point of view of where he was, I'm probably not gonna. Well, I was thinking I might not keep this army, but anyway, for now let's just grab um, what do we want here? I think we just want Ravager, or I could go for the Gobos. No, I don't think I'm gonna recruit more units with him, not this time around at least. That's right. So now. If... Yeah, so now we can actually station ourselves in Akendorf. Okay, well, yeah, I think this worked out fine. Actually getting replenishment now on war units, interesting. One thing this might... oh, okay, I didn't think of this. This might mean that they bring their third army down and actually launch the assault against Barak Var next turn. Well. Yeah, I had some interesting decisions here that I could have done differently. We relieved the Siege in Akendorf, which I wanted to do for sure, but uh, I'll have to just see how things pan out. And I can't recruit more units. Yeah, because I'm actually two units short in this stack now. I'd love to get replacements. Just normal melee gobos, I think, as replacements, but we can't do it this turn because we're on Force March. And you've moved. Okay. And we get to start upgrading this to tier 3. Definitely want to do that. Alright. So we have the option to work towards unlocking Rachnik Spider Claw. He has this ability Rachnok Eggs, which I think spawns spiderlings. I think you can use it three or maybe even five times in a battle, which is decent. He also gets charge bonus and melee attack for all spider units, which honestly only really comes in when I get Arachnoc Spiders. So he's a... Yeah, that enemy leadership minus 5 local region's not a bad one as well. 
I mean, there's there's like generic lords in the game that have just that as their trait, right? And he's got like three other things plus immortality as well. On the other hand, at low rank, he, yeah, he's just, he, I guess he's not so much more powerful than my other lords. Obedience plus three. I do want to get that, I think, in the next, like before the war ends, because we're going to have issues with the post-war blues or whatever they're called. I also want this for the upkeep on the gobbos and the vanguard deployment for all goblins. That's going to be powerful in some situations, but I don't think I really need it. So let's go for no complaining and maybe that next. All right. Vranka Hills. Do we even want to bother repairing this? Let's see. I don't... I think they've got four units in Doc, Doc Karaz. Yeah, military presence two. That's right. So they're not going to be able to retake Vranka Hills right away. Grimgore... Ah, Grimgore's army's moved out. Yeah, that, there could be an army, like, here that could come attack us, but we can check on that. So, let's see. There's no... Yeah, there's a non-aggression pact, but not a military access agreement with Grimgore and Scabby Eye. So, I believe that means that there can't be... Ah, uh, okay. So, there can't be... Grimgore's armies in Scabii territory, because Scabii would condemn that, which they don't. On the other hand, Grimgore's territory from Iron Rock, which is here, extends up to there. So an army just out of the line of sight could still get to Franca Hills. Okay, I think that that's fine. With that in mind, though, let's just have this guy stand outside the settlement, so that if there is an attack made from someone I can't see, then this lord hopefully won't die. Um... We've got the gold, let's just go ahead and repair that. Faster Gloom's upgrading and doesn't seem to be under immediate threat. Uh, having obedience problems, even with that big faction bonus. I think it's because of a... I took a deal for some gold, but it gave us Chaos Corruption. Yeah, I guess that serves me right. So that's not being taxed. Public order here is turning around for at least a turn, so we can keep up extort income there, that's good. I guess I may as well recruit with this lord. Well, okay, let's do the recruitment here, because that's happening for sure. So we can, we can try and get this up to a full stack, or at least 19 units, over the next two turns. Assuming we don't have to move out to sort something else out. So... I think let's recruit the cheaper guys first. And then next turn we'll add on some number, some extra number of archers. Yeah, that'll give us eight inf eight melee, ten archers plus the lord. I think that's good. We we yeah, it's not out of the question for us to actually launch an attack against the dwarves here from this guy's army, even without waiting for Musk to get back, but we'll, yeah, just wait and see for now. I'm special. Yeah, let's just get more troops with you too. So, five... Yeah, I mean, this does effectively strengthen the garrison there by quite a bit. There's little annoying, like, 12 unit armies here that... They can't get up here, the terrain messes them up. But there are, yeah, my point is that, like, even though a full stack wouldn't be held off by the troops I'm getting recruited here, we can still, um... Hmm, maybe I want to be standing on the other side of Ranker Hills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it still kind of matters having the extra soldiers. Uh, okay. Are we done with everything? Did I pick up a magic weapon? Yeah, I think I did. Um, and the scroll of leeching too, yeah, sort of striking. I feel like all of my, all of my lords already have magic items. That is a good, that is a significant debuff on enemy magic. It's just, 
you know, Border Princes and the Dwarves don't have magic and it's only Wurzag from the Scabby Eye. I mean, we're going to see Wurzag again pretty soon. I'm special. Yeah, that one boosts our magic reserves though, which I rate more highly, I think. Okay, let's leave this unassigned just for now. I think everyone must have a squig mascot. Yeah. Alright, that's a good one to get. Alright, you don't have a squig mascot. Well, congratulations. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy has everything. Too bad I've got this useless Savage Orc guy just showing up every time I look at the follower list that doesn't do anything, but... Yeah. Alright, well, some ups and downs there, but overall good. I was a bit concerned about how strong the stack at Akendorf was. The fact that it's their little weak army that's having to do all of the siege construction, siege equipment construction, means I'm pretty confident I can still hold Barakvar, but we will see. Just do a quick last check for whether we've come across new factions. No. Alright, let's move along. Okay. So the dwarves have brought the mining convention led by Grom Brindle. Avaland was destroyed by the Golden Order, who we've now encountered. That's not good at all. And they did not launch the assault. Those guys are backing out. Okay. Hmm. This concentration of troops is obviously scary though. Kind of need most to get down here and um, deal with them with lightning strike. Alright, war, war fervor. We've already got quite a few leadership boosts from the WA, or the, the meter being, like, still counting it as being 100. Um, yeah, let's go for recruiting supplies. Uh, surplus. Okay, and Kareza Crack have besieged. Yeah, so Grom Brindle... Oh, Grom Brindle's just at, just at tier, uh, rank 1 in this campaign. Okay, interesting. So we didn't manage to get our recruitment through, and nor do we manage to upgrade these defenses. That's annoying. But I think maybe I can... Maybe I can break the siege this turn. Let's think about that. So let's just see what they've got. Oh, it's pure miners. It's pure miners. I mean, yeah, Grumbriddle himself is not to be underestimated for sure. It's pure miners with almost no experience. Bit of concern about leaving this, rather than trying to take action immediately, is the fact that they could bring other armies out as well. So what do I have here? I've got two more archers. Three infantry, and then three archers here. Oh. We have the... We have the same problem... Oh, no, no, we don't. I don't have a war army here. I was about to say I have the same uh, problem with having five armies, technically, but it's not. It's only four. We are going to have to force march to get up there, but I'm inclined to try and break the siege. Because otherwise they're just going to sit here stopping us from building and recruiting, and they're going to bring more troops over, because they'll be still recruiting out in Pillars of Grugny. So maybe just... Let me just try and think about how much strength I actually have here. It's spread out so much that it's hard to... to check. So... Yeah, these units were a bit depleted, but the missile units... Let's see. 
We've essentially got like three units, three melee units and two and a half missile units there. Yeah, we're quite light. Yeah, quite light on front line. I think I'm going to go for this though. Um, I want to get. Yeah, I can transfer. Yeah, I want to get heavy ammo on these archers. So important against the dwarves. Still got 90 scrap, which is reasonable. So force march to here. And then launch the assault out with Bogrub, just like I did last turn. The tribe's ready. I'm not going to do the scrap upgrades on, on these units. I wonder if I even want to merge them. Yeah, I think I will. Um, I think I'll merge them and I'll do the scrap upgrade on the merged unit as a compromise. And all these guys have their upgrades. Okay, let's go. Still doesn't give us the advantage, but... I think I can make this work. It's unfortunate I don't have any cavalry, but... Yeah, speed 28 on their units. Like, we're quite a lot faster. Um, I can... I can maneuver them around for sure and deal concentrated missile damage to hopefully a few units at a time. I think we'll be okay. Alright, slight issue here that reinforcements are coming from the back. Uh, it, yeah, okay, hmm. <laughs> Awkward. So this is going to be, this is going to be the garrison. I think I want to... I think I want to deploy over here, try and link up with my other troops. But they're going to rush towards us, because they're purely melee. Well, r r rush at like, you know, dwarf speed, but still. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can make this work. I'm looking... Yeah, it's kind of looking like we might be able to maneuver around a bit here. Some of their troops are a long way from any of my guys, that's good at least. I'm the best. I think I'm going to use my... Right, you guys should be running. Don't know why they didn't default to, to that. I'm going to use my Great Shaman to try and distract them. Oh shoot, you need to be over here. Let's make sure all my units are off skirmish mode. Yeah, so speed 33. Where's Gromby? Not here. Oh, there he is. He's quite fast, if I remember correctly. Well, <laughs> okay, speed 32. Right. Never mind. Let's just lead these dwarves away. Uh, we're on force march here. We might... Might have the problem of getting caught... I really need to keep an eye on this Lord as well, obviously. Because I can't afford him to get stuck against the edge of the map. Okay, you know what? I'm doing this not in the best way. We need... Yeah, we should come forward and actually deal with these units while they're a bit separated. Okay, let's put you into a group so I can move you all at once. So, archers here. Melee boys there. Then you come here. Yeah, you can keep running off, get some of them out of the way. Mm, it's a bit awkward, this. The 
Gonna be able to start getting missile fire in at least, which is good. Yeah, there's a lot of miners. We might have to kind of form a bit of a battle line over this way. Okay, we also need to get casting. Okay. Ah, managed to outflank us here. Curses. I want you guys grouped because I want I need you to be able to focus fire. Alright, you guys can get more over this way. Right, this is bad. Obviously, let a lot of the dwarves get into melee, including with my archers. Okay, we've routed some of their units already though, that's good. Concentrate fire if you would. Looks like, yeah, looks like we're kind of getting caught here, but I might just make it out. You come help here. Okay. Well, this isn't going too badly, but it's not gone the way I wanted either. I think we need your leadership up here, buddy. The war will help us a lot in melee. We're going to get, yeah, what we're going to have is just... Melee troops will get overwhelmed. Oh crap, and you're stuck in melee. Well, okay. Unless Grom Brindle comes in, they shouldn't be able to do too much damage to him. Now, now we've got the war going. Okay, so that's a big melee boost primarily. Let's get this buff going here as well. Oh, those poor orcs are getting wrecked. Yeah, you need to try and keep running. Yeah, world's under attack. Grom Brindle's going to be somewhere carving my boys up, but right now I can't do too much about that. Let's focus fire, break these units. The leadership, honestly, of the, the, the miners is not that great. Yeah, so here's Grom Brindle. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't really want you in melee. Just... Leave that for the, uh... Okay, that's a garrison unit. I don't care too much if it dies. Yeah, leave melee for the melee boys. We'll be doing a much better job of maneuvering around here. Okay, you're actually taking more damage than the Lord I was worried about. Okay. Right, good. They're down. Focus on the next unit. You get over here. You're taking too much damage, dude. How are you taking so much damage? They're just miners. I guess I... I guess I don't have armor on my, uh... My lords, but still. Okay. Managed to break the units here. I feel like it's going okay. We're taking a lot of damage over this way, though. You've broken as well. That's unfortunate. You need to keep running. Come on. Right. There's only one actual unit of miners there, plus Gromby, and we're just going to ignore Gromby. Break the rest of this. Okay, so we need a bit of help here, I'd say. Right. Got lots of magic left. Let's make sure we're using it. Get in here. Yeah. Route the next unit. The damage we're taking is mostly on units I don't care too much about. But... Yeah, I didn't get my melee line arranged properly, and so I did end up with lots of my, um, my archers in, in melee. Okay, we've broken everything on this side. Really good job. Ignore Grumbrindle. Like, literally make him run after us. Okay. We've actually broken off the, almost the whole army. I want to wipe out as much as I can so I can finish them this turn. Right, this looks gone. Yeah. Basically what I what I figured, my armor-piercing missiles, when they're able to stand and shoot and not get bogged down in melee, did really well. Right. 
you're just gonna have to, yeah, you're just gonna have to die to Grumbindle for a bit, sorry. We will kill him eventually. In fact, we're pretty close to wanting to focus on him, I think. Victory's on our grasp, good. Some heavy casualties on, on some units, but mostly garrison, and um, looks like they just got the army lock. Uh, no, not quite, okay. These guys came in on force march. I was pretty impressed with how they managed to do, to be honest. Break this one unit over here, I think. It's not too much left after that. Yeah, keep kiting from Brindle. These units are going to break any second. Yeah, they're gone as well. Okay, great job. Okay, you go shoot them. Now it's time to turn Grumby into a pin cushion. It's going to take a while. Him being unbreakable means obviously we do literally have to take him out, but we have the, with the armor piercing mis uh, missiles, we are in position to do that. I can also just throw a fodder unit of um, melee boys from the garrison at him. Okay, those units are getting wiped out. Good. Come chase these ones down. We need to chase that unit down. Yeah, I'm happy enough with how that went, I think. Um, no, we've got them. Just Grum Brindle on his infinite armor. No, it's not infinite. He doesn't regenerate either. I mean, he's only rank one. He's actually, he's literally as non-dangerous as he gets. Oh, we're going to take a lot of damage shooting our own boys here. Well, that's annoying. Although this is... Oh, hold on. That's a garrison. Uh, that's a wire unit. Okay. You guys drew the short straw. I thought it was one of the units I'd put scrap into upgrading, but no, it's just a wire unit. So, yeah. Let him tank. Okay. Alright, so much for that. They, they figured out my plan was to let them face tank Grombindle and then they bailed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's going down. Uh, slowly. This hits Vigor as well as Leadership. Yeah, well, the, the Vigor debuff will do something here. I guess we can just blast him in the face with this as well. Hmm. That didn't do a lot. Do not want my Lord getting caught in melee here, but... Yeah, this is going fine. I think we might almost annihilate their entire army. Um, I'm seeing a couple of units that are above 10%, but only a couple. Yeah, see if you can finish that one. Have a blast at these ones. Alright, some of these units are running out of ammo, but I think that's fine. Oh shoot, did I? What happened there? I feel like I just took a chunk of damage even before Grom Brindle got to me. And oh, now I'm definitely taking a bunch of damage. No! Oh no, 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 run away! Ah, I should be alright. Yeah, he's actually... I don't think him turning around makes any sense, but he is doing it. <laughs> Blast. We'll see if I had any units actually um, actually wiped out. I certainly didn't. I mean, the, well, the nice thing about having an army of no good units in the start is that no important units can get wiped out, right? Oh, that was bad. Let him catch up to me. Please kill him. Come on, he's got like one HP. Yeah, we should have enough ammo from these units with the armor piercing to take him down here. 
There we go. Okay. Enemy Lord's wounded. There we go. Alright. Good job, boys. No, that that unit, we need to kill one more. Get out the way. And we did kill one. Good. Those units are gone. Yeah. Alright. Gave us a close victory. We did take a lot of casualties, so that's fine. Oh, I hope this unit didn't completely die since I just spent the scrap. It's all right though. I mean, yeah. Look how look how little's left of their army. I think we, I think we may have just literally wiped it out in one battle. That doesn't often happen. 171 kills in Gombrindel. Yeah, I, I couldn't have really done anything differently. And they are fully wiped out. Nice. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I, I find a cloud. Every time, there's always a, yeah, I always find something to complain about, but like, if one unit had survived, we'd get free experience from killing them. This way, we get to keep doing our recruitment though, so that's good. 11% um, replenishment. Yeah, let's, let's just grab that replenishment. A little unclear. How much strength the dwarves have. Ooh, a sort of stone. Very nice. And a glittering scales. Nice. That's a good one too. Cause terror fighting dwarves. Yeah, this is gonna be redundant when I pick up the um Arachnarok mount, and honestly, causing terror against dwarves doesn't do much anyway, but whatever. So you can stand over there. Yep. Right. And we get to keep that recruitment going. And definitely need... Yeah, definitely need some more melee front line here, I think. Okay, so what can Musk do? Mm. Can't go into ambush stance because of the war army, I believe. That's quite annoying. So let's see, what's the deal here? Three more turns until the garrison runs out of supplies. Alright. Hold on, what, what's happened here? Maybe it, Okay, maybe it's just the effect of the war army slowing me down so much. I think what I want to do is block attempt a block army attempt. Or yeah, make a block army attempt on one of these. It's unfortunate that we've um come into contact with the Golden Order. Let's uh yeah. I really want to give this scroll of stone to somebody too, but Let's just declare war on these guys first, because we have to. Yes, they still yes, have another enemy, that's good at least. Smash kill. You have until the sands run from this glass to bark your nonsense. Yeah, I, I do like some of Gelt's uh, diplomacy lines. Oh, we're actually in the top 10 of strength rank. I mean, that's what the extra free wire units does, but still. That's cool. They've got basically a full, more or less a full stack at Grenstart. start. Okay, well... <laughs> Akendorf is going to end up being besieged again, I guess. What can you do? Yeah, so I want you to block whichever of these two stacks you have a best chance at. 19%, that's not very good. 20%, oh, I know what the problem is. It's because my hero did an action last turn that succeeded. Oof. Well, it's only 20% chance of success, but... I think I should still do it. The chance of the hero getting wounded is only 3%. If I manage that, if I make that block attempt, it's very good for me, I think. So, most likely, yeah, throwing away a bit of money, but it's okay. 
special. Okay, and meanwhile, we've built up wire units up to the max. A little awkward to have so many wolf riders. On the other hand, I think Barrack Vah... Yeah, so Barrack Vah, there's two gates. So it might be possible to use some cavalry maneuverability even on a siege assault battle. Still a bit confused about why Musk's movement's so low, but that's fine. So we didn't block either of their armies, so in principle they could get they could send both these stacks against us. But that would leave Yeah, I don't know if they'll do that. And I think I'm fine if they do, right? Yeah. I'm special. We need to put ourselves in a position to be able to to break the siege. Okay, why can I not do Oh, right. Had the general of the other army selected somehow by mistake. No, it is... Hold on. No, it is letting me go into ambush stance. Well, that's definitely better if I can pull it off. I think I know what's happening here. It, it's like... My movement's lower because of the war army, but... Because of how it's calculated, it still somehow thinks I have 20 f the movement range required to, to go into ambush stance. Yeah, anyway, it's a little weird. If we get discovered and they send both stacks against us, I'm happy fighting it, which is what I thought I'd be doing anyway. And yeah, it seems like our, um, our war army units only replenish if we're actually stationed in a settlement. That's interesting. Alright, again, kind of whatever. So, Scroll of Stone, I mean, I think I just put that on Musk, right? I can't say I've made good use of this Power Stone. Sort of Stone's so good, this is my only immortal hero. Yeah, just seems like a clear decision. Can't recruit well in, well in Ambush Stance, yeah. Okay. So what do I... I mean, I don't think I need more frontline units right now. I've got all of this. So, yeah, we'll stay on the ambush plan. Um, definitely not investing money in upgrading Varenka Hills. Military presence, four. So they've got more troops building up here. I didn't see where their other army was. They definitely had another full stack. Yeah, they have a... F okay, they well, now I can see where they are. They have a full stack in this province, but that's not going to be able to get up to attack me anytime soon. Still not clear what Grimgor is doing with his army. I mean, he may have moved his army south. He is also at war with Karak Azul still. Yeah. Not to tempt fate, but it does... I do feel like we've gotten... We've had things go very well for us. Um... Since the point where our three main settlements were besieged, like calling the defensive war, and then everything from there has gone well. Okay, there is the possibility of facing two and a half or two and a bit stacks at Bar Barak Var, so maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. Yeah, let's skip that. And what else happened? Glittering Scales was already assigned, that's fine. War declared Golden Order, yeah. Am I doing all the recruitment I can? I'm not recruiting out of either of... Yeah, I'm not recruiting out of either of these two regions. Um... That's okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. We've got 16 unit garrison in Akendorf that's getting... getting up to full strength. I've got gold to spend, but that doesn't necessarily mean I should spend it. And the, the new lords I recruit wouldn't have WA units with them, so... Yeah, I think I'm all good here.
Oh, Confederated Zuthbar. It's actually a little annoying because that's going to mean they can start recruiting maybe different units. Alright, so they have launched this assault. Well, hmm. Yeah, as I said, most couldn't have really gone over, gotten over here to stop this happening. It's not giving me any chance, but I have some optimism, I have to say. Like, yeah, the AI is just so bad at managing the sieges. And we do have a substantial force here. Um, some depleted units there, but lots of missile units, including of armor-piercing rounds. Well, this will be a fun battle to start next time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Generally happy with how the campaign's going. Lots of little weird bits and pieces I don't understand with the WoW mechanics, but it's all good. So yeah, be back with the next one.